And before we take a look back at WCW Thunder, uh, make sure you watch WCW's Nitro's review first. Ten months after WCW Nitro released on the PlayStation, Thunder released. That's actually not that big of a gap at all. It's only ten months. You figured that they would wait at least a year. Now, uh, WCW Thunder was basically WCW Nitro but with the improvements. And the major improvements are the following. Now, the crowd actually finally moves in this game. The, you can actually see crowd animation. In Nitro, uh, there was no such thing. It was pretty much a cardboard looking crowd. Although, some of the crowd animation is a little bizarre. WCW Thunder also added a steel cage match, and that's actually quite awesome because that was not in Nitro. Unfortunately, even though you can imagine that this is actually a really big bonus for a wrestling game, this particular steel cage match wasn't really the greatest because, uh, as you can see, the whole arena was empty, and uh, the cage match itself, uh, it wasn't really the greatest. It was uh, quite mediocre, and uh, that's the reason why no fans showed up to tonight's show. You now have the ability to use weapons, which is actually pretty fun in this game. Now, there's no blood, but uh, using weapons in this game is actually not bad at all. Nitro, unfortunately, there was no weapons. WCW Thunder now has video entrances, which uh, was missing from uh, Nitro. You had cool loading screens on Nitro, but uh, now you have really cool versus loading screens featuring both superstars. And there appears to be a hell of a lot more match types in uh, Thunder vs. Uh, Nitro. We can actually uh, do quite a bit more with this game. Uh, the only cons that I can think of on this game would be uh, the audio uh, is pretty much the same as Nitro. We have the commentators repeating the same stuff over and over again. Our bomb! Our bomb! Our bomb! Our bomb! And uh, you also have the same background music, might be a little bit different, but basically it displays over and over again, quite loud. Now despite having the same crappy, now despite having the same crappy audio, and maybe an ugly looking audience, and a bad steel cage match, there is some pros about this game. Now one of them, right off the bat, as mentioned before, is you can use weapons, and the weapons are actually pretty awesome. Uh, and another pro is just the, it's improved uh, controls. The controls were a little bit more uh, improved versus Nitro. Uh, it has a very, very impressive roster once you unlock everybody in the game. Like, it's definitely, uh, out of all the wrestling games I've played, the roster in this game is actually quite impressive. And the roster features even the Nitro girls. You have a lot of WCW wrestlers, you have NWO wrestlers, you have the Four Horsemen. You have plenty of the Cruiserweight wrestlers, which is awesome. Uh, you have also... Uh, Color commentators, managers, all, just about everybody in this game. And of course, just like Night Show, you had crazy over-the-top characters that were added into the game as well. And just as a bonus, you also have a whole bunch of developer team uh, personnel that were added into the game. The biggest pro, just like Night Show, was the unlockable content. Whether it was the wrestlers, or the uh, actual stages themselves, uh, the unlockable content is insane it's like a good big huge portion of the game because once you unlock all the uh characters in this game you have probably over 90 wrestlers and uh some of these characters are way way over the top only in wcw thunder will you see a actual horse legend a cow to death with a steel pipe yeah i took that you son of a bitch <laughs> Or how about the Native American Indian that tried to actually murder a cowboy with an office chair? I mean, look at that. What the hell? And what about that stupid pig that thought it was a smart idea to pick up a CRT television and show that product of incest what he really looks like? Maybe the little pig thought he was going to run away. But let's take a look at what really happened. He got the slop kicked out of his pig ass. But oh no, that's not the worst of it. And then he got violated. Much like the disco stage on WCW Nitro. Thunder has its own little dancing stage. As you can see here, we have like a a starfish character dancing with a wireframe character. I mean, look at that. Ain't that fancy. I bet you'll never thought you'll see a gorilla beating the shit out of an astronaut in space, but surprise. 
And WCW Thunder, it's possible. And hell, if you want to, you can even have a rooftop brawl. The most ugliest looking background textures of all time. What all, look at those buildings. Look at that. As you can see here, you have a skeleton and you have a computer looking character with a monitor on his head. And an actual hard drive for a body, which is actually pretty cool. Tonight on WCW Thunder, we have a scuba diver who dives 100 feet underneath the sea to kick the shit. I have a giant praying mantis, but the praying mantis nearly kills him. Instead, don't miss tonight's WCW Thunder. You can even wrestle in WCW's variation of hell. I mean, look at this. This is what they envisioned hell to look like. I mean, look at that. With a wrestling ring. And with Tony Schiavone repeatedly murdering you with an electric guitar. And then you have this stage right here called Extreme. That's right, as in Extreme Championship Wrestling ECW. Except this is WCW. And if that ring looks familiar, well, you're right. Uh, it was used in WCW Nitro. I mean, check this out. Same exact ring. And of course, he had many uh, pay-per-view stages as well. Now, as a result, uh, WCW Thunder was pretty much... A uh, slightly improved version of Nitro with the addition of weapons and a horrible steel cage match. Now some of the unlockable stages in WCW Nitro I actually liked better. I think they were actually uh, more polished. For those of you who have not seen the Nitro review that I did, please go watch it and you'll see. Now by the time that Thunder came out on PlayStation, you had the AKI games released on the N64 and you had probably a few WWF games out on the... Uh, PlayStation, so yeah, this game of course was considered mediocre and it wasn't perfect. So, of course, this was definitely probably the last of its kind. It wasn't nearly as popular as Nitro, but it was a pretty good attempt at trying to be better at what Nitro was before. Unfortunately, it didn't quite make it. And that would be a look back at WCW Thunder on the Sony PlayStation.